Protect your kidneys, 7 fish you should never eat after 50. Imagine you're preparing a delicious fish dinner, excited to enjoy a healthy meal. But as you take that first bite, you unknowingly could be putting your kidneys at risk. For people over 50, kidney health is essential, yet some types of fish, often ones we believe to be healthy, can actually harm your kidneys over time. Statistics reveal that one in three adults over 50 is at risk for kidney disease, according to the National Kidney Foundation. Unfortunately, diet plays a major role, with certain types of fish containing high levels of toxins or heavy metals that can be particularly damaging to aging kidneys. That's why in today's video, we're going to uncover the seven types of fish you should avoid to protect your kidney health as you age. Together, we'll learn how to make better choices that benefit not just your kidneys but your whole body. Now, let's get started. Do you know which fish might be putting your kidneys at risk? Share your guesses in the comments below, and let's find out if you're right. 1. Canned Tuna Canned tuna is a familiar food to many people, especially with its easy-to-eat taste and convenience in processing. However, regular consumption of canned tuna poses many potential risks to the kidney health of people over 50 years old, especially those who already have kidney function problems. To ensure long-term freshness and to fight bacteria during preservation, canned tuna is often supplemented with a large amount of salt, causing the sodium content in the product to increase. Studies show that a can of tuna can contain from 300 to 400 milligrams of sodium in just a small serving, equivalent to 20 to 25 percent of the recommended daily sodium intake for adults. This becomes worrying because the World Health Organization, WHO, recommends that for people over 50 years old, especially those with kidney disease, the maximum sodium consumption should not exceed 1,500 mg per day, which is nearly half of the usual recommendation. Excess sodium in the body puts a lot of pressure on the kidneys, especially when the organ's blood filtering ability has decreased with age or illness. When the body cannot eliminate sodium effectively, it will retain water to try to maintain balance, leading to edema, a symptom that the elderly often encounter. In addition, the accumulation of sodium also increases blood pressure, seriously affecting the circulatory system and increasing the risk of cardiovascular disease. High blood pressure, in turn, also puts an additional burden on the kidneys because the blood vessels in the kidneys become stiff and have difficulty withstanding the extra pressure. According to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, the risk of high blood pressure and kidney failure increases significantly in people who consume a lot of sodium, emphasizing the importance of reducing salt in the diet of the elderly with kidney problems. To minimize the risk from the high sodium in canned tuna, consumers can choose products labeled low sodium or no salt added. If you can't find tuna that is suitable, Soaking the fish in filtered water for 10 to 15 minutes before eating will help remove some of the excess sodium. For fish lovers who have difficulty with high sodium, freshwater fish or wild salmon can be a less risky alternative, helping to reduce stress on the kidneys and blood pressure, especially in the elderly. For those who love the taste of the deep sea, but fear the negative effects, what other fish has a strong character but is also full of potential dangers? 2. Farmed Salmon Salmon has long been considered a nutritious source of omega-3 fatty acids, protein, and vitamin D. However, not all salmon is healthy, especially for people over 50 with kidney disease. Farmed salmon, unlike wild salmon, often contain significant amounts of phosphorus due to the mineral-rich diet on which they are raised. According to the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, a 100-gram portion of farmed salmon can provide up to 300 to 350 milligrams of phosphorus, which is more than 40% of the daily requirement for adults. Phosphorus is an essential mineral for bones and teeth, but for people with kidney failure, the accumulation of phosphorus in the blood can do more harm than good. The kidneys of older or weakened people are unable to remove excess phosphorus, leading to hyperphosphatemia. When phosphorus and calcium combine too much in the blood, they can create deposits in the blood vessels, causing hardening of the blood vessels and affecting cardiovascular function. In addition, an imbalance between phosphorus and calcium also weakens bones, leading to the risk of osteoporosis in the elderly, making injuries or falls more dangerous. To minimize the harmful effects of phosphorus from farmed salmon, people with kidney disease can switch to wild salmon, which has a lower phosphorus content. 
Other types of fish such as tilapia or cod are also better choices due to their low phosphorus content, suitable for people with kidney disease and the elderly. Experts also recommend adding more green vegetables rich in fiber to meals, because fiber has the ability to absorb some of the phosphorus in the intestine, reducing the pressure on the kidneys when removing this mineral from the body. Curious about another fish that tastes rich, may be reminiscent of a familiar dish, but has unexpected risks? 3. Black Cod Black cod, although popular for its rich flavor and high protein content, contains a large amount of purine, which can be harmful to people over 50, especially those with kidney problems. Purine is a natural compound that is converted into uric acid and entering the body. In the elderly, the kidney's ability to excrete uric acid is significantly reduced, and eating foods high in purine can lead to the accumulation of uric acid in the blood. A study published by the U.S. National Institutes of Health shows that high uric acid levels are one of the main causes of gout and also put a lot of pressure on kidney function. Because people over 50 have a harder time processing excess uric acid, black cod is one of the foods that can cause health complications if consumed regularly. According to a report from Johns Hopkins University, the accumulation of uric acid in the body not only contributes to gout but is also a factor that aggravates the decline in kidney function, as the kidneys have to work overtime to process and remove uric acid. Scientists have also found that uric acid tends to form crystals when there is excess, and these crystals not only accumulate in the joints causing pain, but also accumulate in the kidneys, causing kidney stones or hindering the kidneys' filtering ability. Especially for the elderly, keeping the kidneys healthy is very important, and avoiding foods high in purines such as black cod can help reduce this burden. To reduce the risk of purines when consuming black cod, some nutritionists recommend eating it with green vegetables rich in fiber, such as spinach or kale. These fibers will help reduce the absorption of purines into the body, thereby supporting the digestive system, reducing the accumulation of uric acid, and reducing pressure on the kidneys. However, people over 50 years old or at risk of kidney-related diseases should limit or replace black cod with other fish containing lower purine content such as salmon or carp, both ensuring nutrition and minimizing harm. So if you love the soft, rustic yet alluring flavor of your next fish dish, does it contain any elements that aggravate inflammation? 4. Flounder Halibut, while a great source of protein and minerals, is high in omega-6, which can have a negative impact on the health of people with kidney disease, especially those over 50. Omega-6 is an essential fatty acid, but when consumed in excess, it can stimulate inflammatory responses in the body, which can make kidney failure worse. Research from Harvard University emphasizes that maintaining a balance between omega-6 and omega-3 is extremely important to reduce the risk of inflammation in the body. However, older adults are more likely to lose this balance by eating too many foods containing omega-6 without getting enough omega-3 to balance it out. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition shows that excessive consumption of omega-6 can increase the risk of chronic inflammatory diseases, which can have a negative impact on the kidneys. This puts additional pressure on the kidneys as they work to remove inflammatory substances from the blood. At the same time, with the decline in kidney function with age, the inflammatory response caused by omega-6 will make it harder for the kidneys to recover and easily lead to long-term complications. To minimize the risk of inflammation when consuming halibut, experts recommend that people over 50 years old should adjust their diet by replacing halibut with fish rich in omega-3 such as salmon or mackerel. These omega-3 rich fish have been shown to help reduce inflammation, enhance kidney function and protect the body from unwanted inflammatory reactions. Older people who still want to eat halibut should reduce the frequency of eating combined with supplementing other omega-3 rich foods to balance the fatty acid ratio in the body. And if you love the strong, bold flavor of your next fish dish, does it contain anything that increases uric acid or affects blood pressure? 5. Anchovies Anchovies, a flavorful and easy-to-prepare food, pose a risk to people with kidney disease after the age of 50 due to their high purine and salt content. Purine in anchovies, when consumed, is converted into uric acid in the body, which can accumulate into crystals and cause gout or aggravate arthritis. For people with impaired kidney function, the process of eliminating uric acid is severely affected, causing the kidneys to work overtime. 
studies show that a serving of anchovies of about 100 g contains more than 120 mg of purine, a significant amount compared to the recommended 400 to 500 mg of purine per day for healthy adults. However, for people with kidney disease, consumption should be minimized to avoid overloading the kidneys and increasing the risk of kidney stones. In addition, anchovies also contain a very high sodium content due to the salting during preservation and processing. The sodium content of anchovies can exceed 3000 mg 100 g, almost reaching the daily limit recommended by the World Health Organization, WHO, especially for the elderly and those with kidney disease. Consuming too much salt not only increases blood pressure but also increases the pressure on the kidneys to filter blood, causing damage and reducing the ability to filter waste effectively. An article in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology shows that people who consume a lot of sodium are at higher risk of kidney failure, especially those with underlying kidney disease. In addition, high salt intake also stimulates water retention in the body, making cardiovascular disease symptoms common in the elderly worse, putting more pressure on the kidneys. To reduce the impact of anchovies on health, the way they are prepared also plays an important role. Try using garlic and coriander when cooking anchovies, these two ingredients not only reduce the fishy smell but also have the ability to help the kidneys eliminate excess salt better. Garlic contains allicin, a powerful anti-inflammatory compound that helps protect the kidneys from the toxic effects of salt and purine. Coriander, a natural diuretic, also helps the body eliminate sodium more easily. Instead of preparing anchovies the usual way, cooking them with supporting ingredients like garlic and coriander can reduce some of the negative effects this food has on kidney health. Have you ever heard of a fish that is both popular and full of bad preservatives? 6. Salted herring Salted herring is a popular dish in cuisine, but it has many potential risks for kidney health, especially for people over 50 years old. Salted herring often contains preservatives and nitrites to preserve flavor and extend shelf life. These preservatives and nitrites, although effective in preventing bacteria, put a lot of stress on the kidneys, which have to work continuously to filter and remove harmful substances from the body. A study in the American Journal of Kidney Diseases showed that consuming nitrites in salted foods can increase the risk of kidney function decline because these compounds have the ability to create oxidants during metabolism. In addition, the high sodium content of salted herring is a factor to note. Each 100 g of salted herring can contain up to 2,500 mg of sodium, close to the limit of 2,300 mg per day for healthy people as set by WHO. For people with kidney disease, consuming such high levels of sodium can put extra strain on kidney function, making it difficult for the kidneys to filter waste and also worsening high blood pressure. One study found that reducing sodium intake can reduce the risk of kidney damage by about 20% in older adults with kidney problems. To minimize the negative effects of salted herring, you can choose fresh fish and prepare it yourself with natural ingredients. Soaking the fish in lemon juice before cooking will not only soften the fish but also add a natural sour taste, reducing the need for salt. When you need to add saltiness, Pure sea salt may be a safer choice because it does not contain preservatives such as nitrites. Finally, if you've ever been attracted to a fish that looks healthy and sturdy but has hidden health risks, is it worth worrying about? 7. Swordfish Swordfish is among the types of fish with the highest mercury levels, and mercury is a heavy metal that, when accumulated in the body, can cause significant health issues, especially for those over 50. Mercury can have a damaging impact on the nervous system and may harm kidney cells, making it challenging for the kidneys to perform their vital blood filtering functions. For older adults, as kidney and nervous system functions may have already declined over time, regularly consuming mercury-laden fish like swordfish can greatly increase the risk of health issues. Consuming too much mercury through food not only strains the kidneys but can also impair memory and cognitive function, as mercury tends to target nerve cells. This is especially important for those who aim to maintain good health and sharp mental abilities in later life. For individuals with a history of kidney disease or issues related to the nervous system, steering clear of high mercury fish like swordfish is highly recommended. Instead of swordfish, there are many safer options with lower mercury content that still provide ample nutrition. White fish such as tilapia, catfish, or salmon are excellent alternatives. Not only are they safer for your health, but they're also versatile in cooking, 
allowing for a variety of delicious dishes. To ensure balanced nutrition, try to vary the types of fish and seafood in your meals. Additionally, consulting with a doctor or nutritionist can help you choose the best foods for your health. A helpful tip is to prioritize smaller fish, as older, larger fish tend to accumulate more mercury over time. Certainly. Here's a conclusion draft that includes all the requested elements in English. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more health insights. To sum it up, ignoring the guidance in this video could mean facing serious consequences for your kidneys, especially as we age. While these health tips are straightforward and easy to incorporate, neglecting them could lead to chronic health issues that even doctors may struggle to manage. The choice is clear. Follow these steps for a healthier life or face the risks. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you found these tips helpful, and let us know how you're incorporating them into your routine. While you're waiting for our next videos, the four on your screen are here just for you. Thank you so much for watching until the end, and see you next time. Warning 5 Dangerous Fruits You Must Avoid If You Have Kidney Disease Imagine you're enjoying a bowl of fruit salad on a warm afternoon, thinking you're making a healthy choice. But suddenly, a sharp pain hits your lower back. You feel uneasy, knowing something's not right. Little did you know, one of those seemingly innocent fruits might be causing your kidneys to work harder than they should, putting your health at risk. In fact, around 37 million Americans are affected by chronic kidney disease, CKD, according to the National Kidney Foundation. What's alarming is that certain fruits, while healthy for most people, can be harmful to those with kidney problems, contributing to complications like kidney stones or worsening kidney function. That's why in today's video, we're diving deep into an important topic, 5 dangerous fruits you absolutely need to avoid if you have kidney disease. Are any of these fruits a regular part of your diet? Stick with us as we reveal which ones you should be steering clear of. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. 1. Grapefruit now, let's talk about a fruit that many of you probably enjoy. It's a fruit with a tangy sweet flavor, bright yellow skin, and an irresistible fragrance. Grapefruit isn't just a delicious treat, it also offers numerous health benefits, especially for your kidneys. Originally from Southeast Asia, grapefruit is believed to be a natural hybrid of pomelo and orange. This fruit has since been grown and enjoyed worldwide, including in the United States. Grapefruit is rich in vitamin C, which supports the immune system and helps protect your body from harmful environmental factors. It also contains lycopene, a powerful antioxidant that shields cells from free radical damage. This is particularly beneficial for the kidneys, which work tirelessly to filter waste and toxins from the body. The antioxidants in grapefruit help ease oxidative stress, reducing the risk of long-term damage to the kidneys. However, there's something important to know. Grapefruit can have unintended effects if you're taking certain medications. According to the University of Chicago Medical Center, grapefruit contains a compound called furanocumarin, which can interact with drugs like statins, used to lower cholesterol, and immunosuppressants. This interaction can cause medication levels in your blood to rise higher than intended, increasing the risk of kidney damage and other side effects. But don't worry, you don't have to give up grapefruit entirely. The key is in how you manage your intake. If you're taking medications but still want to enjoy grapefruit, timing is everything. A good tip is to eat grapefruit at least 4 hours apart from when you take your medication. This simple adjustment helps lower the risk of unwanted interactions between grapefruit and your medications, allowing you to keep your kidneys healthy while savoring the fruit's delightful taste. So, how much grapefruit is okay to eat? While there's no one-size-fits-all answer, as it depends on your overall diet and health condition, a quarter of grapefruit a day is generally considered safe for most people. For those taking medications or with specific health concerns, it's always best to consult your doctor before adding grapefruit to your daily routine. Remember, balancing the enjoyment of your favorite foods with maintaining your health is key. When used properly, grapefruit can be a wonderful addition to a healthy lifestyle, helping to protect your kidneys and providing your body with essential nutrients. Now, let's move on to another fruit, one that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. It's a curved fruit with a bright yellow skin when ripe, and is often considered a quick source of energy. Do you know which fruit I'm talking about? 2. Banana 
Bananas are a familiar and beloved fruit for many people around the world. Not only are they naturally sweet and easy to eat, but bananas also offer numerous health benefits. While the origin of bananas can be traced back to Southeast Asia, they are now widely cultivated in tropical and subtropical regions, including areas like Florida and Hawaii in the United States. It's no wonder bananas have become a staple in many diets, especially for older adults. Bananas are particularly known for their high potassium content, a mineral that plays a critical role in many of the body's essential functions, such as supporting heart rhythm and regulating blood pressure. According to the National Institutes of Health NIH, potassium is indispensable for maintaining heart and nervous system health. For the average person, eating bananas regularly is a great way to boost potassium intake. However, for those with kidney disease, careful attention to potassium consumption is necessary. When kidney function declines, the ability to remove excess potassium from the bloodstream diminishes. This can lead to hyperkalemia, a dangerous condition that may cause symptoms such as muscle weakness, irregular heartbeats, and in severe cases, even cardiac arrest. Therefore, individuals with kidney issues must closely monitor the amount of potassium in their diet. This doesn't mean that people with kidney disease need to completely avoid bananas. In fact, bananas can still be a part of a healthy diet if consumed in moderation. Besides potassium, bananas are rich in fiber, vitamin B6, and vitamin C, all of which contribute to overall well-being. A medium-sized banana contains about 422 mg of potassium, so if you have kidney disease, limiting your intake to an appropriate amount is crucial. Here's a helpful tip you might not know, you can reduce the potassium content in bananas by using a technique called leaching, soaking bananas in hot water. By slicing the banana and soaking it in warm water for about an hour, you can significantly lower the potassium levels while still enjoying the taste of bananas. This method allows people with kidney disease to safely eat bananas without worrying about excessive potassium buildup. So, how many bananas are safe for individuals with kidney disease to consume? Experts recommend that if you have kidney issues, you should limit your intake to half to one small banana per day, depending on your specific health condition and your doctor's guidance. It's always important to consult with a nutritionist or healthcare provider to adjust potassium levels appropriately for your individual needs. The next fruit has a bright orange skin, is juicy and has a distinctive sweet and sour taste. Can you guess what it is? 3. Citrus You've probably heard of oranges and other citrus fruits, right? These fruits, originally from the faraway region of Southeast Asia, are now widely grown around the world, including in sunny states like California and Florida here in the United States. Oranges, tangerines, grapefruits, lemons, they all belong to the same family and offer a wealth of nutritional benefits. One of the most remarkable features of oranges and other citrus fruits is their high vitamin C content. This powerful antioxidant has the ability to protect cells from damage. According to the National Kidney Foundation, vitamin C can help protect kidney cells and prevent potential damage. Besides that, vitamin C supports the immune system, helping the body fight off illness and keeping your skin healthy and vibrant. However, there's an important consideration for those with kidney issues, the potassium content in oranges and citrus fruits. Potassium is a vital mineral for heart health and helps maintain electrolyte balance in the body. For those with healthy kidneys, the potassium in oranges is not a concern. In fact, it helps regulate blood pressure and protect the heart from potential risks. But for individuals with chronic kidney disease, especially in the later stages, consuming too much potassium can lead to hyperkalemia, a dangerous condition that may cause irregular heart rhythms. Here's a little tip for you. If you love the taste of oranges but are worried about potassium levels, try using orange zest in your dishes. The zest contains much less potassium than the flesh but still offers a wonderful flavor. Orange zest also contains beneficial compounds like flavonoids, which can enhance heart health and support anti-inflammatory processes in the body. Now, let's move on to another fruit, although botanically it is actually a berry. It is a bright red fruit, often used in salads and sauces. Can you guess what it is? 4. Tomato Tomatoes, originally from South America, have become a staple in many households around the world, especially in the United States. In the U.S., 
Tomatoes are among the most popular and widely consumed fruits, readily available in supermarkets and farmers markets from coast to coast. States like California and Florida are renowned for their large-scale tomato production, thanks to favorable weather conditions and fertile soil. Tomatoes not only add delicious flavor to meals but also offer a wealth of nutritional benefits. According to the National Cancer Institute, tomatoes contain a powerful antioxidant called lycopene, which helps protect cells from damage and may reduce the risk of chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease. Additionally, tomatoes are rich in vitamin C, vitamin K, potassium, and folate. Vitamin C boosts the immune system and keeps skin healthy, Vitamin K plays a crucial role in blood clotting and bone protection, potassium helps maintain stable blood pressure, and folate is essential for cell production and preventing birth defects in developing babies. However, if you have kidney issues, particularly a history of kidney stones, tomatoes may not be the best choice for you. The National Kidney Foundation explains that tomatoes contain a natural compound called oxalate. Oxalate can bind with calcium in the urine, forming tiny crystals that can gradually develop into kidney stones. For this reason, individuals at high risk for kidney stones should consider limiting their intake of oxalate-rich foods, including tomatoes. But don't worry if you love tomatoes. There's a simple tip that allows you to continue enjoying this fruit without worrying too much about oxalates, cook them. When tomatoes are cooked, their oxalate content tends to decrease, allowing you to enjoy the delightful taste of tomatoes without compromising kidney health. You can add cooked tomatoes to stews, soups, or sauces, creating meals that are both delicious and safe for your health. Finally, let's talk about a fruit that has a smooth texture, is rich in healthy fats, and has a distinctive green color when ripe. 5. Avocado Avocado is truly a wonderful fruit. Originating from Mexico and Central America, Avocados have now become a staple in cuisines worldwide, especially in warm climates like California and Florida in the United States. Not only do they offer a rich, creamy flavor that's delicious, but avocados are also packed with nutritional benefits. According to the American Heart Association, avocados are an excellent source of monounsaturated fats, which are good for heart health by helping to reduce bad cholesterol and increase good cholesterol in the body. Additionally, avocados are high in fiber, which aids digestion and helps you feel full longer, as well as vitamins K and folate and antioxidants like lutein, which support eye health and slow down the aging process. However, for Americans over 50, particularly those with kidney issues, consuming avocados requires careful consideration. Avocados are high in potassium, with a medium-sized avocado containing about 975 mg of potassium nearly a quarter of the daily recommended intake for healthy adults. For individuals with kidney disease, the kidneys may not efficiently filter excess potassium from the blood, leading to a risk of hyperkalemia. Symptoms of this condition can include muscle weakness, numbness, and heart rhythm disturbances, and in severe cases, it can be life-threatening. Nevertheless, this doesn't mean you have to completely eliminate avocados from your diet. The key is to consult with your doctor or a nutritionist to determine the appropriate amount of avocado that fits your health condition. For those with kidney disease, it is generally recommended to limit avocado intake to no more than half a medium avocado per day, however, you should always follow the advice of your healthcare provider or dietitian. A smart approach is to incorporate avocados into meals in moderation, such as adding a few thin slices of avocado to your morning toast or sprinkling a small amount over a salad to enjoy the delicious flavor without consuming too much potassium. Additionally, if you love the taste of avocados but need to limit your potassium intake, you might try different variations to reduce potassium consumption. For example, instead of eating a whole avocado, you could use half an avocado in each meal or choose recipes where avocado is combined with other low-potassium ingredients. Also, be mindful of your total daily potassium intake from other foods to ensure you don't exceed the recommended limits. A little tip, choose avocados that aren't overly ripe, as the potassium content can increase as they ripen. Finally, remember that avocados are not just tasty but also part of a healthy diet when consumed in moderation. By understanding the nutritional aspects and listening to your body, you can enjoy avocados without worrying about negative health impacts, especially when concerned about kidney function. Be sure to seek advice from healthcare professionals to make the best decisions for your health. Before we wrap up, don't forget to like, 
share, and subscribe to Vitality Solutions for more life-changing health tips. Your support helps us continue to bring valuable information to you and others who need it. Plus, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our next important video. The path is clear, you can either take control of your health now by following the advice in this video, or you can continue down a risky road where kidney disease may become a harsh reality. The choice is yours, but remember, prevention is always easier than treatment. While you wait for the next video, check out these four on-screen suggestions, they're perfect for diving deeper into keeping your body healthy and strong. Thank you so much for watching till the end, I truly appreciate your support. See you in the next one.